Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan. Now, I haven't played any of these, um, these Dark Picture Anthology games um, from Supermassive. I've played Until Dawn, uh, you know, but uh, I haven't played uh, any of these. Uh, this is the first time I've, been pl uh, I've played them, um, and uh, I don't really know much about these games, um, considering that most people have said that they all are pretty, like, like a lot of people have said that they're pretty bad, um, but I kind of want to, like, I, I, it's not saying that I've avoided them, I've just never really got around to it, um, but um, I think that we're going to just go into this uh, and kind of see, you know, you know, how we, uh, how we go about, uh, you know, playing this. Uh, I know I'm just kind of rambling at this point. Um, so when it comes to these interactive storytelling games, we're going to kind of do a lot more of these because, uh, I, you know, I've been doing a lot of shooters lately. Uh, and now that we finished Far Cry 5, we finished... Um, Metro Exodus. I kind of want more horror on the channel, so um, I figured that we would do some of these interactive storytelling games. Uh, you know, we've done all of the uh, Quantum, uh, the Quantic Dream games, Detroit and Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, uh, but I kind of want to do these because they're more horror. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started in this. I think I'm going to, uh, to turn the volume up for me a little bit more here. Um, I've turned the sound down, like, I've turned it down about halfway, so uh, it's not glaring, it's not like blaring over my commentary, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to play alone. Um, I don't have, I, you know, all I've done is adjust the settings, so... New story. Chinese market, China South Sea. I do know kind of the story about this game. Uh, it's like there's a, a people who are searching for like a plane wreck or something, and they, uh, they end up finding a ghost ship or some shit. Uh, so, yeah. All right, new story. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I can't play the curator's cut until after I complete the game. So, all right. Well, new save data, I guess. I'm not really sure how long each of these parts will be either, so. Coffins. So this is like, what, World War II, I'm guessing? Korean War, maybe? Oh, maybe Vietnam? Those are like older, you know, like U.S. military uniforms. Coffins of the Dead. Buster. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend. But shouldn't it be Charming Charlie? Can I fight? Hey. Give me a quarter. Alright, I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. Oh, yeah, post World War II. 
Uh, tell me about my son. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh, is he going to grow up all right? Things going to work out for him? Bamboo tile or dragon tile? Hmm. Well, it's, oh, I'm gonna pick the bamboo tile. Press and hold R2 to pick up objects and to examine. It's a fish. Looks like a fish. Yeah. I think that's it. Right. Your fortune may come from any direction, but when the wind blows and the death comes, 肯定会随之而来 Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? You want to know your fortune? Hey, bud. Traits updated? Oh, yeah, because there's, like, traits and stuff, right? So there's, like... Oh, you can look around. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Is that me? Am I doing that? Yeah, I'm doing that. So, selfish, insecure, altruistic, and reckless. So, from what I know is that a lot of people say you should always play, like, the character. Uh, like, so, he's insecure, he's reckless. So, he's, like, somebody who would, like, kind of run into a battle type of thing. Pictures, secrets, bearings. Hmm. All right, let's just get back to it, I guess. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fine, sure. Let me know the quarter. Gonna start a tab. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. So they're pretty much, so basically they're getting ready to kind of leave the South Pacific. Since it's post World War II, they're just kind of pulling out of everything. Ah, uh, that's not a that's not a soldier. That's something else. It's got skull and crossbones on it, but it's not draped in a an American flag, so that's not a body. Well, it might be, but it's not a that's not a soldier. Oh, there's a few of them. Yeah, those are like stored by themselves. Hey man. Hey, where's my where's my 50 cents? Where's 
I spent it! What the fuck? Why is he talking like that? Get this one to the medical ward. Why is he talk like that? Anyway, take our big ass ship and leave. Uh oh. There's water in there now. It's leaking. The whole ship's flooding. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. You know, you know what happens when, when lightning strikes a supernatural thing? Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's making a gas. Oh, no. Is it gonna reanimate the dead? It's bringing them back to life. It's like it's like Return of the Living Dead. They broke the tank, and now the gas is seeping into the soil. Damn, that sergeant knocked me on my ass. Uh oh. Joe's having flashbacks. Joe is having some flashbacks. Sick Bay. It's June 22nd, 1 36 a.m. now. I'm guessing it's like the next day or the same day or some shit. Okay. Is that my. That must be my son. Is that Michael Sarah? That looks like Michael Sarah. To Pops, come back soon. That's Michael Sarah. Is that not Michael Sarah? That is literally somebody took Michael Sarah's face and <laughs> attached it to a child. What the hell? Okay, well. The controls are very stiff. Kind of like Resident Evil. It's all right. I kind of like it, actually. Kind of garbage. Oh my God! What the fuck? There's a dead guy in this. What the fuck has happened since I was out? What the hell's going on here? A key in a wallet. Keep that. I want to see what's in the wallet. Uh, okay. I guess we can't... Can I not see the wallet? He dropped a wallet. The wallet. The wallet. Okay. I guess I don't care about the wall. No, I want to... Really? Is that seriously not a thing I can look at? Like, they showed both of them falling out, so like... Oh. Oop. Oop. I mean, I guess not. Okay. Whatever. Yes, door's locked. I need the key, sure. Fucking zombies, bro. There's probably zombies. Uh. Oh. God. You know, I really forget how fu- Oh my god, this is very claustrophobic. Like, I, I forget how, like, small... and claustrophobic ships are. Like, in submarines. Ugh. 
This is awful. You can't even see like what's what's like around a corner. Like, oh my god, oh my god, this is awful. Oh god, it makes you think you're gonna see something. Oh Jesus, it's it's very Resident Evil like fixed camera. It's like, but I mean, it pans, it moves, but oh dude, it makes me feel like I'm gonna. Dude, I don't know. There's a the there's a dead guy in the infirmary. It was, uh, a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Well, first of all, Charles, uh, I want to go in here and poke around. Oh, what do we got here? Uh. John Coleman Ferris, Sergeant. Uh, Charles Anderson, private. Oh, so, oh, so he, he, he filled it out. And that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. Is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl? And steps were taken to ensure that both men returned to their ship. What the fuck? We were on the ship, we were on the ship already. Kind of nonsense. Alright. Oh, we're not going to be able to open this. We need a combo. Or a key. Who's got the combo? Ooh, what's this? Uh, Brig Week 27. Monday. Arthur Miller. Uh, oh, wait. There's stuff on the back. Hold on. Wait, what? Monday, Arthur Miller, private, uh, petty theft, one. Uh, wait, so Monday, Arthur, so this is for the brig, week 27. So Monday, Arthur Miller, private, petty theft, one day. Small items belong to a senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, private, trespassed for two, uh, so he was hold for two days. Found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, Lewis Brand, uh, PFC. What's PFC? Oh, private first class. That's right. Uh, I know these things. Uh, public intoxication, one day. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Friday, Robert Reed, private. Public intoxication, one day. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Oh, it's not going to... I have to hold it. Saturday, Charles Anderson, private, public intoxication brawling, 10 days? Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel on shore leave. Saturday, Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication brawling, 10 days. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel on shore leave. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to in, uh, internment. What the fuck, dude? So, these other guys are private, public intoxication... And they were held for a single day, and they had drunk and acting inappropriately. We weren't even brawling in 10 days? Dude, dude, that sergeant hates us. There's no way. That sergeant has it out for us. What a dickhead. There's no way. Oh. Oh, there's blood. Yeah. Uh, duh. Some blood here? All right. Just some blood on the wall of the brig? Did Charles not say anything about that? Oh, there's a, there's a cell. Layla, get back in your cell. Don't make me get the hose. All right, nothing in here. Dude, these camera angles suck. And I mean suck as in like a scary way. All right, Charles, let's go. Oh, dude, I hate it. I hate it, dude. I hate the ink. Oh, Jesus. Oh, press X in time with the heartbeat. Okay. Did 
Just a fucking sergeant, dude. Uh -oh. oh, dude, I can already tell I'm gonna fuck some shit up. Dude, that sergeant would shoot us hands down. Okay, so this door is locked, apparently. Uh, anything else? Charles? You said, what the hell? What the hell what? I don't understand how the sergeant didn't even see us. Two dudes just hiding in a corner right there. Oh, dude, it's the gas. Oh, my God. All right. See, this is what happens when I turn the sound up. But it's, I mean, you know. Oh, well, okay. We're going to try it again. Okay, let's press X faster this time. Let me really spam that bitch. Oh, God. Uh, well, I guess I didn't want to see what was behind that door. FUBAR stands for fucked up beyond all recognition. I kind of want to go back the other way. Can I not? We saw that kid. Oh, see, I hate this. I hate that there's like no ability to go back. Yeah, but yeah, but look at him. He's like, his like eyes are like rolled. He looks like he was scared to death. He looks like he was like, it's like the ring. You know, have you seen the like, uh, it's like the ring when everybody's like, well, the the America. No, no, go back up the go back up the stairs. Go back up the stairs, Joe. Like uh, in the in the ring, uh, there's in the beginning of the ring, the girl in the closet. Uh, well, the American ring. Um, she kind of looks like that, in a sense. Like, scared to death, pretty much. Oh, dude. Camera angle into the stairs. Oh, nice. L1 to walk faster? Alright. So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah, fine. Agree. Yeah. Okay, so now we're with all the vehicles. Oh my god. Saw that earlier. There's more dead soldiers. Okay.
Well, that guy was been, has been shot. Uh-oh. Got, got me a gun. Guess I'm taking point. It's not real, man. It's a vision or something. It's like a figment of your imagination. Oh God, no! Charlie! Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? What? Wait, what? <laughs> That's not a real kid. Oh, dude, he's got a knife. Oh, it just went right through him. Oh, shit! Give him a heart attack. The ghost thing gave him a heart attack. Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on. Come on, damn it. What the hell is that? Uh-oh. Yeah, like that's gonna help you. Oh! Well then. Oh, hell yeah, here we go. Yeah! Starring Sean Ashmore. He was in Quantum Break. As well. This guy's name is the Curator, I think, right? What a strange song to have as an opener. Oh, it is the ring! Look! <laughs> it's Samara! You need a compass to navigate your... Yeah, Jason Graves does the score. That's Jason Graves. K. 
chemist? I don't even know who that is. What the fuck? Why is there just a blue bar there? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, all right. Uh. Hello. A hi. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and right. determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, the death tax. Of us want for it you to know. come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay. Or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. I might make a real mess. We don't know. All right. Just jarring into the... Brad, he's witty and innocent. He's Alex's brother. Present day in French, po French Polynesia. The Duke of Milan. Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. Motivated and insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down. The water. Diving. Maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, I had to work? It's embarrassing. I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. So wait, he's witty, anxious, innocent, and eager. Okay. Whoa, whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? They don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh. I was invited. Uh, Tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just 
the new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Mmm, must be tough. Yeah, I gotcha. Must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, because I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. Truthful, eager, envious, witty. life choice, you know? What, do you want to ask I'm your girlfriend to get married? Hmm. Why don't you go with your gut? Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. She's reckless and excited. Conrad, Julia's brother, foolhardy and relaxed. And also... Her brother's Sean Ashmore. Your brother is... <laughs> oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Connie? Oh, my God. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Lady killer, right here. Connie. Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about uh, you. Not Bradley. It's Brad, yeah. bitch. Uh, Get it right. Uh, I get seasick. I think he. Tbh, I kind of have a thing with seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Bradleberry. It's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. All right, sure. One. That's all. I mean, he would want to fit in, right? <laughs> he would want to be part of the part of the group. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your Bradical. Shit. Oh God. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Uh, all the time. Yeah. Totally. All the time. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope, not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. Our brother did say not to sweat like the small stuff. He he would want us to fit in. So. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyway? Fliss, impatient and courageous. She's the captain. So, there you go. Ha! Yeah, fuck you, Connie. Loser. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. Well, there's that seasickness. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. It's pretty, uh, pretty light outside for five thirty. Over here. Well, it's June after That's all. Far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually, these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This was different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. 
Uh, Brad did his homework. He's optimistic. If he says the right's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flynn, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Well, here's the thing. If we call it into port authorities, I mean, is it... Isn't there like maritime, uh, like law, like laws when it comes to like international waters and wrecks? Like, don't they have first claim over what is found? Because like that seems like what would happen, right? Can't dive, or who cares? So, wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive the right way? Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? So maybe they don't have the... They're not necessarily looking to take anything? In the water in a few... I'll set up the tank. The boys will do the final check. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Righto. Maybe you should check on your bro. Okay. Uh, wait for Julia to finish preparing the tanks. All right. Uh, oh, this is her ID. Felicit Dubois. This doesn't look kosher. This isn't really, it's not really. So we can go check on him then, right? Oh, it's a picture. Okay. Premonition unlocked. Looks like he's hiding? Hmm. Kind of look around a little bit. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. This made her happy. Shroud of Innocence? Hmm. Okay. I don't know which one is which, so. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Oh, well, I turned it off now. I could talk to her after I looked at this. It 
So does he think that maybe she's not a real captain? You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, sorry. She is uh, the captain. Yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh... I've typed a couple wrecks. I've typed a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experience. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Hey Come guys. on. Thanks, for anyone else Thanks a lot. Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Fair enough. Alright, well, let me go check on my brother. Oops, it's L1. Okay, that door is locked. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry, man. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Did more than that, just a script trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. All right, guess we can go back up and out now. And this was the plane. It's like a thing of rocks down there. What is that? Is it just the area around the plane? Guess so. Oh yeah, what is this? Oh, it's binoculars. What the hell is that? Okay. Guess we're ready to go. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces the compression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for setting me straight. Setting me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Bliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Uh. Take the camera? You're on camera. I'll take the wheel. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go.
later tonight, babe. Fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? Oh uh, yeah. It's gonna pop its portholes. Oh my God! Please, please stop. I regret talking. I guess I could have taken the other thing. I didn't even know what the other thing was. Whoa. You good? More or less. Oh boy, there's a shark. Too bad the place is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Right? Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. It's a bomber plane. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Captain, you fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command, third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh. She's very uptight, though. She would pass. I feel like she'd pass. pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. If she's she's all business right now. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing a big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Um, I don't know. She doesn't seem to be that kind of person, but... Mm. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I feel like she might want it to be a part of that, though, to be honest. Never know. Okay, so we we got this picture. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got to booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Check you later! Check you later! Oh, she could probably go through their stuff, can't she? Uh, let's... I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh, she can open this, though. Is that another picture? Uh Okay. These around. Hmm. Well, 
Well, um, all right. I don't want to see that again, to be honest. It's like a boat that's leaving. Cut and run. Oh, like somebody like leaves. Uh, dear Miss Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of twenty four thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars with a sum of three thousand four hundred eighty one payable by August first, twenty nineteen. This amount has been overdue since that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the outstanding amount is received by the 30th of August 2019, we will have no choice but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. Please act accordingly. Your sincerely, Charles Saran, Senior Account Manager. So dive trip was 5,000. Total hours, 2,400. Eddie's fishing trip, 500. Sell laptop, 600. Total for month, 8,500. Call bank, cancel sell. So yeah, she's really struggling with uh, with cash, um, and uh, that's yeah. The, she would definitely take up that offer from from Conrad on the money because she needs it. Can I do something with my own ID? I guess. Oh, she's kind of putting it away. Maybe she is not really, like, completely certified. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot winds. Keep an eye so there is a there is a storm coming. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow then. Over. Right. Uh. Uh oh. What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Um, let her handle it. We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Well, that was rude. Bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot. You, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right. You guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here. Let's just throw in the whole pot. Wow, what a dick. Okay. Ugh. 
Oh boy. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Ooh. Oh, be careful. Yeah, I could have cut yourself on that. Jesus. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave it there for, the, for this part. And then when we come back, uh, we'll continue in the wreck. So, take care. Goodbye.